it is that time of the year. That time of the year. That special year where we review Christmas movies. And I get to bring my old friend Frosty. Jack Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I love this guy more than old Pumpkin Jack. <laughs> How you doing today, bro? What's that? Oh, he's doing good. Okay. That's, that's good to hear. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for me. Because I had to watch this film, Slade. <laughs> okay. So, I've seen so many low-budget films at this point. It's just like, it's become redundant. These films are not good. It's, this film was on Tubi. So that's how you know that your, your standards are... But I'll give credit where credit's due. You know, concept looked interesting. Trailer didn't look awful. It looked like it had some pretty good lighting. And I'm not going to lie, if this was 12-year-old me, I'd want to go to Walmart and buy this. Because that's what I did with Mother Krampus. I saw the, co the cover for Mother Krampus at Walmart. And I was like, hey, that looks good. Only I wasn't 11. I was like, what, 14 or something? Something, something, I don't remember. So Slade, it's about a massacre that happens and five years later this guy who was involved, um, he was like an officer or some shit and he tries to get revenge because he knows he's gonna come back. Um, some murders start going down and yada yada, you've heard the story before. And um, what do they do with this story? Well, if you watched my Halloween uh, kills review and some other my reviews but halloween kills in particular i said in that video and some other reviews that i don't care if your story has been told before or if the plot is done the dime a thousand like i don't care just make it interesting have good characters have good writing have good scares have good action whatever whatever movie it is i don't care you can tell the same story beat for beat well, actually, you can't unless you're the Psycho remake, but you know what I mean. Like, you can tell the same story, but you gotta have something new to it, you know? This film doesn't, and it doesn't really do much with what, what's given, right? It's a Killer Santa film, but the Killer Santa is hardly in it. It's a, an hour and 13 minute movie, so thankfully it's short, but he barely does anything in it he, in fact the one kill is is done off like most of the kills well actually i'd say like two of them two of them are done off screen and the blood in practical effects is cool and all it's not impressive it's nothing you'd seen before i wasn't and i wasn't particularly impressed um the only impressive thing i can say was that crossbow scene that was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie uh also a surprising surprising death i didn't expect it to happen like that so it was it was cool but yeah there, there's nothing really new done with this film or any or just the concept at all it's pretty much the same thing you've seen several other times with slashers or low budget movies like this but i will give credit where credit's due i think for the most part for a low budget film this film looks a lot better than i probably should like, the cinematography is nothing special. In fact, I'd argue it looks like um, an ITN production film or whatever, distribution. Or, a, you know, a uncorked or a Wild Eye releasing one of those shitty camera films, you know, where they just literally get almost an iPhone or just a whatever camera. Like, why is it one of these films, they always film it with a potato? Why? Why is it always a potato? Like, I filmed better films on this phone that I'm recording this review on. How is that possible? I don't know. They, they make these movies. But anyways, I'm besides the point, this, this is not a ITN or Wild Eye releasing movie. Um, honestly, I don't, I think it's a Terror Films production or something. Um, but it, for the most part, it's actually not half bad for a low budget film. I don't know what the budget for this was. I think it was like 
next to nothing. But, you know, for what they were given, they made use of it. Like, I can, I feel like they, they did, you know, bring their A game for this movie. That is the one good thing I can say about this film. It feels like everyone, like, knows the role they're given and, you know, they know how to deliver the lines. Like, the lines aren't, like, the acting isn't great, nor is it, like, extraordinary. Like, you're not going to get Home Alone acting, nor are you going to get, like, Die Hard acting. You're not going to get Schindler's List. You're not going to get the Godfather level of acting. You are, if you're watching these type of films or even these reviews for films, clearly you know what you're getting into. But unfortunately, most of these videos and most of these reviews, I say the same thing. These movies aren't really good. And this film isn't, unfortunately. I was impressed by the first 20 minutes. And then I was sorely disappointed, not because of the concept necessarily. I already went into that a few minutes ago about how I thought, you know, the concept has been done before, but you know, nothing new. But this film, does the same thing that I complain a lot about in these types of films. The film is boring. It's just characters talking about nothing. Like they are talking about nothing. And they say, we gotta go here, we gotta do that, we gotta go there, we gotta do this, we gotta do what. And it's like, why? It's just characters running around, but for 20 minutes straight, nothing happens. No action no killer santa like here's the thing here's a good you know like, like i lost my train of thought but here here's an example right how to take place in this small security area and how the killer santa try to break in and then halfway through he breaks in and then the characters have to hide and it's more of like a stalker film you know because here's the thing i actually thought the characters for the most part were not likable or unlikable, but I was in, I was, you know, invested. I wanted to see where it'd go, but the story doesn't really go anywhere because it, the movie's just mostly these characters running around. And when the twist is revealed, I just remember, hmm, okay. Uh, I didn't feel anything. I didn't really just had no, in, this movie had no impact on me. And that's disappointing because I want there to be something with a movie like this. A killer Santa. Cool. Have fun with the idea. And they don't. They don't. They do not. You know, for all of Halloween Kills faults, at least that film had Michael, you know, going out and just killing people. And the characters we were invested in, you know, were talking. And stuff. Like, like I, it was in, for me personally, I was invested. This film, I just wasn't, and I'm disappointed, you know. I, I know the director is gonna work on some other projects and, you know, continue. By all means, you know, like, I didn't care for the movie, but continue to work, man. Continue to work, like, I, I see potential. And I, I know, by all means, that, you know, there's something in here that you can integrate in another project that you can make better. Just, when you make a low-budget film, like, don't just, don't pad the time. I hate movies like that. I, I really do, but I don't hate this film. It's, this movie's really not worth getting angry about. It's just, I'm gonna give it a D plus. It's not good, but I guarantee there's so, there, this movie's for someone out there. I know people love Killer Santa films just like me. I love, you know, Silent Night, Deadly Night. I like the remake. I even have a soft spot for two. Um, and there are other, there are plenty of other good ones out there. There's one that's coming up called Christmas Bloody Christmas. I want to check that out. So it can work. I just don't think it works on this film. So yeah, check it out if you want. It's on Tubi for free or it's on YouTube. So check it out. And guys, we're back.